Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mukesh Kala. I am a four time UiPath Most Valuable Professional, Certified Solution Architect and an Advanced RPA Developer. I am also a LinkedIn top voice. So in case you want to connect with me, feel free to share me a connection request and I would be happy to be part of your network. Also, you see a QR on the screen that is for the WhatsApp community. So and it, at any point of time, if you have any doubts, any questions, you can post in that group and the community members try to help you. Lastly, whenever there is a new video which is getting uploaded, you get a direct notification on the WhatsApp group. OK, so in this what, why and the how series, typically we try to answer the questions which I receive over my email, Instagram, uh, over the WhatsApp or maybe directly in the comment section. So so today I have received an email which you see on the screen in that email it's something related to the UiPath Robotics Enterprise Framework as we understand that there are a couple of changes which the product has gone over a period of time and when you guys are trying to follow my video specifically the use cases end to end you might find this issue right and this is one of the issue which I have also got in my WhatsApp community as well right so let's try to focus on the problem first okay so I've received this email which says that I was going through YouTube video which is create identity card with robotics enterprise framework RE framework and then we are supposed to import the arguments right so if you see here in the screenshot the subscriber is trying to import the arguments and when they actually click on import it is asking for a new key value pair instead of getting the actual values they are getting an option to provide the key value pair right so how do you actually import the arguments into the latest re framework with this new update right so that is what we are going to understand in this video okay so yes this is my uipath studio i'll go to the project and you can see that this is the robotics enterprise framework to replicate the scenario i'll just go here and i'll create a new sequence and let's say I'm a developer who is writing a login sequence. Okay. And I'll just call it login underscore SEQ. I'll just create this, right? And in this, I have to use a couple of arguments. The first one being, let's say I have to use the in underscore config. Okay. And this would be of the type dictionary and object, right? And then let's say I need in underscore username okay and then i need one more argument which is in underscore password i'll keep it to string and then i want to pass an output argument which is a boolean which is something like is successful okay so basically three input arguments and one output argument from this XAML and this I'll just make it to uh, sorry my bad I'll just make it to boolean okay so this is where you have written a lot of code and you have implemented the logic I'll not touching that now I'll go to the process and let's say this is where you have to invoke it okay so to invoke I'll just go to project and then I'll just try to drag and drop this guy which is the login sequence and here in this part when you see here into my login sequence I have three input and one output now to replicate the problem if I simply go on this guy which is the collection and I click on this I'm not getting those three input arguments here rather I am getting this screen which is the same issue this subscriber was facing right now I have to pass this value how do I pass that value right and this is happening everywhere and that is what we are going to see even if I go and click on add entry I'm not get getting that right so now what do I do so all you have to do is you just see here you have this option which says import arguments you can click on that and you can see here it says that four items in the dictionary are imported now if I go and I click on it 
you see that all the four items are populated for you in a order where you can now pass the value now to pass the config value if you again click on this button you are again going to get the same window right so rather than that you can just click on this small plus button here and say use a variable and the variable which i'm going to use is in underscore config that is the config right which is this and that's it and then where is the username i can hit and pass the variable of username i can pass this variable of password and for the output let's say i just say is success right and that's it right so you are back to the same thing and your variables and everything is created okay so you just have to click on this guy which is the input arguments so that's it right so i hope you guys found this video insightful any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well right so with this i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching feel free to drop me a questions on what why and the how series again you know where to post the questions you can put it on the chat or email me right so wrapping this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation